You always get these questions when you go speak to schools. You know, what, what, what do you, how do you live in space? How do you sleep? How do you eat? And the most popular question of all time, guess what it is? Probably how to go to the bathroom. How do you go to the bathroom <laughs> in space? We're going to find that out today here with, with Scott. He's going to tell us. Okay. Right? Okay. Well, actually, what are we doing? Do you want to explain what that is? Yeah, you guys have, yeah, if you don't mind, well, yeah, do the whole thing. Do you want to explain the practice part of this? Yes, there's the, there's the real, we have the real right. toilet, right. and then we, we have the practice that. toilet. We have the practice but, toilet. But uh, Scott, were you going to get to that, or are you gonna, what are you going to do? Yeah. Here, Scott, uh, I, would, I would normally skip it during the refresher, but if you want to cover uh, it. You have to cover it. it. That's covered. You want to cover it now, or do you want to? Oh, I'll do it now. All right, go ahead, do it uh, now, Scott. Particularly based on what you just said, right. because <laughs> that is our functional trainer. That one can be used. This one over here. That's right. That's where we're going to spend most of our time because that one can be used. You guys are going to use that. We could use it. You could it. use oh, it could before. Use it. We're not going to use it today. So you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> do it in this one. I want to be upset. No, you don't want to do it in that one because this, why? This is our positional trainer. So you can see there's a TV monitor here. There's a TV monitor there. There's a camera inside the hole. That's correct. You'll notice the hole here is four inches. The hole is four inches? Whereas a normal toilet seat is more like 12 or 18 inches. What's a normal, you mean like the one you have in your house? That's right. All right. Alignment is important. Right. So the benefit of this is, if they're not confident that they have good alignment, they can come turn on the camera, right. or they can turn the camera off, find their alignment on the seat, right. flip the camera on, and see if they've... And see over here, we can see right in the... And you can sit down on that thing and look over here and check your alignment. Now this is one, wouldn't you say this is like the deepest, darkest secret about space flight? People always ask you, what about you know, UFOs and aliens? And we got nothing for them. But they don't know about this, that we actually have a... What's the official title for it? Positioning, positioning trainer. And now you're going to go over the high fidelity trainer. Right, by right. and large, especially right. with more experienced crews, they've been there, done it. They just want right. a refresher on how to yeah, use the yeah, system. Right, right, so. right. Here we go, activation. Ta -da. We're there. Foot, toe, restraints down and locked. So, so this is to su support your feet while you're sitting on the uh, right. on the potty. Right. You have your feet right. You, you know, support your feet. Right. I'm going to use the commode. You can put your feet or the toe restraints down at the bottom if you're just floating there. And right. You need right. zero. Vacuum valve to open. Here we go. All right. Ready? Sounds good. Unstow, urinal hose, and Velcro strap, install hose and cradle. Okay, so so far we talked about your positioning aid. That was for number two. When you go number, when you go number one, well, that's what the, you have that you have that hose there. Yeah, but you also have the toe strap. To the toe strap that's used to hold you while you're right. using while you're uh, using going that. number one into the hose. Solid, solid waste and liquid waste go two different places. Check cradles and auto. Check mode is auto. Check mode is what I. step, select, switch to one. Okay, command Baggy in there, right? Trash bag. All right. This little baggy, uh, the air can suck to the bottom, so that whatever you throw in here sort of gets sucked down into the bottom of the bag. Hydro. Yeah. Hydrophobic. Yeah. And we put that bag, and that's where you. Toilet paper is going to go. Because right. yeah, you don't put hand wipes. Hand wipes. You don't put any paper in the bowl. No. No, Only right. solid no. waste no. in the bowl, and all your paper and. Hand wipe stuff goes yeah. in there. That's right. Yeah, that's and then right. You, when you're done, you tie it up, throw it away, and put it in. Elbow bag. Elbow bag. Let's see. Um, Steve already pointed it out. You guys are flying all male funnels. Yes. But for the sake, they're all guys. For the sake of observation here, male funnels don't have any venting. Uh, Steve already mentioned the whole unit works on air. Uh, female crew members have three choices for their anatomy-based uh, funnel choices, and they're all vented. The difference is. For women, we want their anatomy against the funnel, but we still need the airflow. For men, we do not want them docking to the funnel. Uh, to that end, also, if uh, you're urinating and the funnel's filling with water, you need to slow down because we don't want to flood the fan separator. Uh, do you guys use, did you guys use the thigh restraints at all, or just just wedge yourself yeah, in here? I stick my hand on the roof. Okay. All right. These are 
These are thigh restraints. They are helpful for getting in and out, actually. As handles? Just as handles. Just. You really didn't use them? Huh? No. You didn't use them? No, I just, I use, just use the roof. Yeah, but I use the thigh. I think I use the thigh restraints. What I do is I sit where I'm comfortable. Right. Comfortable. I scooch. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You know, I, I, you know what I think of? I think of uh, uh, Peter Fonda in Easy Rider riding a chopper. <laughs> that's I thought I was riding a chopper, and that's the right position for me. You would have made a marvelous astronaut. I would have, but it's too late yes, now. That's right. <laughs> and that's the benefit of the mirror. I had my opportunity and it didn't turn out marvelous. And now it's too late. Marvelous. That's the benefit of the mirror is if you don't, if you can't tell if something's attached to you, you can look in the mirror. So if this breaks volume G where your spare odor and bacteria filter are, you know, it's underneath your aft locker, so you have to remove lockers to get to these things. Uh, okay. You fly adult diapers, those are standard complement. Te technically, they're for women, but since you don't have any on your flight, feel free to use them if you have to. This is an Apollo fecal bag, and uh, you have a finger cut for wiping. It is a, an adhesive attachment. Um, I've got a feeling I could get something with a DC back on that thing. I could make that work better. <laughs> OK, any questions? You guys have done this before. so. Uh, Simple reminders, keep it clean, uh, alignment's your friend, solid waste in the commode, urine goes down the tube, nothing else. Uh, if you want to come over here, the reminders are on the wall. We do leave this in a configuration, especially once you're in quarantine, that all you have to do is come over and turn on the fan step, which you would do because you're following the procedures. Correct. Uh, there is the chance for it to be out of config, that this is a very popular room with tours. So yes. what I usually start the class with is that door has a deadbolt. It has a cipher lock, it has a sign that says training in progress, and they ignore it every time. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're going to come in here, even if you're just doing a sim next door and you're running here to use this toilet, use the deadbolt, or you're going to have somebody's home video with you in it. Ah, it happens all the time. Like this.